Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company. In this video I will show you how to write data into an Excel file using an Excel template. We will use the same data as in the previous video. Before we start, we need to prepare our template. For this we open Sales John and save the file under Template. We move our tables. In addition, we create a dashboard worksheet in which we combine the data from the two tables. And a data worksheet in which we will write the original data. The next step is important for the implementation. We create a table for the year 2021 and another for the year 2022. We mark the area before 2F7 and name it table 2021. Then we mark the range B11 to F14 and call it table 2022. In the sheet year 2021 we create a reference for D4 to the cell D4 in the sheet data. We do this for all cells that will later contain the values. We do the same in the sheet year 2022. Finally, we format both sheets and hide the data sheet. We open our macro from the last video and here we have to make some adjustments. We change from create new sheet to overwrite sheet or range. We activate skip field names, and preserve formatting on overwrite. Finally, we rename our sheet from year to table. We save the macro under the name export to Excel 2. In the next step we have to copy our template and rename it according to the sales employees. For this we need a second macro and the Python tool. We import the library shutil, specify our template and target file and folder. Please note that we use the X string as a placeholder. The template is then copied with the command shutil copy file. We also need the control parameter tool here and link it to the Python tool. In the action tool we replace the X string and save the macro under copy Excel file. In our workflow we insert the two macros. We need a unique tool again and directly after the unique tool we add the block until done tool. Connect output 1 with the copy Excel file macro and output 2 with the export to Excel macro. This way we make sure that the files we want to write to are copied first. We run the workflow and we get the files we want with formatting. When you show the data sheet again, you see that the data has been written there. You can download the workflow with data and macros from our website. As always, you will find the link in the description. If you liked the video, please give us a like and if you are interested in the topics data science and location intelligence, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.